I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will take up three different examples to make it very clear how to solve a trigonometric equation and the solution we will restrict ourselves in the domain of 0 to 2 pi right for all the three solutions and I am going to take very very simple examples for me the three examples which I am going to take are related but so very different so that I can discuss the concept so the examples are cos of x equals to minus half let us say and then we have cos of 2x equals to minus half and then we have cos of half x x by 2 equals to minus half right we have these three basic equations and we'll try to figure out how to solve these equations that is the whole idea right so this question may not look like a very difficult question but here all the concepts lie so let's begin with cos of x equals to minus half so how do you solve this to solve this we'll say well in our coordinate plane we'll apply the cost rule right and minus half means solution lies in quadrant 2 and 4 right and from our special triangle let me draw a special triangle also close by from this special will work for us is pi by 3 pi by 6 pi by 2 so that is the triangle so that is we need minus half so we are looking for a pi by 3 angle where 1 2 and square root 3 are the sides right so always you have to find the acute angle once you find the acute angle then you figure out what are the solution so we have two solutions here right so those are the two solutions and you have to always write down the principal angle in the solution so one is this principal angle the other one is that one right since the acute angle is pi by 3 acute angle is pi by 3 we have two solutions and these two solutions will be x equals 2 now pi minus pi by 3 let me write here first pi minus pi by 3 and pi plus pi by 3 correct so it is equals to 2 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3 right so these are the two solutions when we are talking about cos x equals to minus half now the same question if I change the argument if I make x as 2x then what changes will it bring now that is the critical part to understand first change is this domain is for x we are saying x is between 0 to 2 pi is it okay now in this case also we know x is between 0 to 2 pi that is the domain we are talking about but when we have 2x we have to multiply this by 2 so we get 2x is between 0 to 4 pi do you understand in 2 pi there will be two cosine waves this is what you should understand right so which I find that students sometimes struggle to understand right so basically we have two cosine waves with an interval of 2 pi that is how it is where this is 2 pi when we say minus half we are looking for these four solutions do you see that that is what it is this is 1 and minus 1 perfect so so for minus half which is here minus half minus 1 is the minimum we are looking for four solutions do you get the idea so therefore when we look into our coordinate system we do get two values as as done previously we know we have to land up in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3 for cos 2x to be negative but what are the values the values are 1 which is same as 2 pi by 3 so let me write down here 2x equals to 2 pi by 3 and then then this which is 4 pi by 3 and then we have to go one full round do you see that plus 2 pi to both these values so that I mean this is 4 pi okay so that is what we have to do 
adding 2 pi means so when I add 2 pi to it so uh, I mean this was 4 pi by 3 okay when you add 2 pi to this 6 times 2 is I mean 3 times 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 so you get 8 pi by 3 and in this case 6 plus 4 10 so you get 10 pi by 3 right so those are the solutions and definitely we have to divide by 2 we are, our solutions will be 2 pi by 6 4 pi by 6 8 pi by 6 and 10 pi by 6 you get the point right so that is how you get your solutions correct and of course you can you can simplify this and then write this as pi by 3 uh, I mean 2 pi by 3 and when you divide this 4 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 right so these are your solutions for the second case now let's look into the third case I'll appreciate if you could pause the video and answer this one right and then look into my suggestion so we'll try to analyze it in the same fashion here we have half the wave in 2 pi that is it and that wave because x pi 2 do you see that is 2 pi so for minus half we are only expecting one solution do you understand we are expecting one solution now the reason is I have to not divide by 2 so I get 0 is less than equals to x by 2 is less than equals to pi correct and therefore when we write down the solution we have only one option left so we'll say x by 2 is equals to 2 pi by 3 or x is equals to we'll cross multiply 4 pi by 3 you get the idea so that is how we have to work out this particular case otherwise uh, you will get the wrong answer so if the question is cos x equals to this how many solutions you get you get two solutions in this particular case right so you get two solutions but if I have cos 2x then I get four solutions and if I have cos x by 2 I just get one solution do you understand so that is how it changes so keep this in mind when you are working on quadratic equations because ultimately all equations when simplified they boil down to one trigonometric ratio so I hope this particular video helps you to understand the concept and get all the possible solutions right all the time thank you and all the best